Well, what is this mess, you might ask? I'm working on the Sony CDP-M555ES. It is a CD changer, a 400 CD changer. And it's the ES line, which is uh, extra high quality. There's some of the parts here. But I uh, tore it all apart to replace all three belts, and it had an issue where the door seemed to be sticking. And when it would open, it would make this loud sort of clicking sound if it did open. It only opened about half the time. And I'm wondering, you know, I was wondering why would it get hung up here? Is there a piece of plastic that's not retracting? You know, I was overthinking it. Because um, what it turned out to be is there's a little uh, spongy material here so that when the door shuts, it kind of gently... Uh, cushions the uh, the door hitting that when it shuts and the uh, the material was kind of breaking down you know how foams and rubbers and glues kind of break down and um, over time when they're 20 25 years old they kind of turn gooey and they kind of stick well it was sticking to this door here so when it, when it would go to open, it, it was kind of stuck in it, and then it would just jerk open, and it would make a loud, kind of a loud sound when it would open. So the fix was to take some, uh, some of this foam tape and stick that on there, and uh, several layers of the electrical tape to uh, kind of dial in the right amount of... Uh, of cushion that you need to get it so that when the door shuts that it's uh, quite centered in the middle because you want it to look nice and you want, you want it to function properly so let's get this thing back together and uh, see if that fixed the problem might as well show you the carousel uh, if you've been working on these for a while um, and you never uh, took the carousel out. You gotta do it very carefully. There's a bunch of teeth on the bottom of the carousel. You don't wanna bust any of those because the, uh, the little sensors, um, like here's a sensor, uh, it requires those little teeth to be intact, otherwise it confuses it. Um, but uh, here's the belt that can get replaced. Um, I haven't seen any of these with with this belt being degraded, but uh, you know we're in here. We got the carousel off, so I might as well replace that belt. So there's a total of three belts. The other two are right here. These two belts. I just replaced those, uh, so everything should be in working order uh, once I get this back together. But let me show you the. Uh, bottom of the carousel here so here's the carousel the the underneath the underside of the carousel and you can see these little teeth here and how those are how that looks you know there's the gear on the very outside but then there's these teeth that kind of stick out like that so those have to do with the sensor to tell and also these inner ridges here, these inner, uh, that inner ring with the gaps, differently uh, spaced gaps. That tells the, uh, the CD changer where the carousel is positioned. So it knows exactly how to align the CD, both with the front door and with the CD player back here. This is the CD player. So, there you have it. When putting it back together, uh, be sure to uh, put all the bus cables back in. It can be easy to forget one of these, and then you get it back together, and, uh, and the display doesn't work. So, if that happens to you, open it back up, and 
look for the bus cable that needs to be plugged back in. And they don't um, they don't go in real far, so don't uh, don't press too hard. You don't want to end up with broken wires inside there. I consider them to be somewhat delicate. So just nice and snug. That's about as far as it goes. I've got it all back together now, except for the screws on the hood here. Uh, before I put those screws back in, the last nine screws, I would like to give this a try and make sure it works. So, yeah, looking good so far. We call this the smoke test in ham radio. Pardon me while I try and uh, do this with uh, with one hand, trying to get the, uh, okay. Yeah, that's professional of me. Okay, here's a CD. Oh no, I'm going to break the CD during the demo here. Don't you hate it when these CDs just won't come out of the case? Okay. Label, keep label. Uh, facing right. Label facing right. Okay. All right. What's going to happen? Ooh, so far so good. Is it playing? It's playing. Awesome. It works. Of course, I'm going to test the audio uh, separately. I can't be playing uh, you know, any of this music on, on YouTube. I don't want to get dinged. So, uh, but uh, there you have it. This thing is pretty awesome. It just counted uh, the one disc in the 400 CD carousel. And so now when I flip the, the knob here, it, it knows there's only one disc, so it's only gonna show a one there. Otherwise, if you eject it, it'll let me go to all the way to 400 there, you know, backing up to like that. So, pretty cool, huh? I like it. All right, well, I hope you got something out of that. Sure is fun to play with these toys. They're pretty awesome. One last thing I thought I'd show you before you go is the fact that this CD changer actually plugs into a TV through the uh, VGA connection, uh, just one RCA uh, jack, and it gives you uh, the CD catalog on screen, which is pretty cool. I, I haven't filled anything out. I haven't, uh, I haven't done much with this, but... Uh, if you wanted your entire catalog on screen, you can do it with this CD changer, which is the Sony CDP-M555ES. I 
I, I've never seen a CD changer that does something like this. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Pretty cool for such old technology. So uh, have a look in the comments if I ever decide to uh, list this on eBay. Uh, I'm tempted to keep this thing. It's so cool. But uh, if I do list it on eBay, it'll be in the comments. So uh, check the comment section and if you're interested in uh, purchasing this unit. All right. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day.